ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. I am here with you this morning. Hallelujah. Day four of 21 of our submission fast. Praise God. This is day four and we are going to dive into this morning's prayer. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to be here in the presence of the Lord with you this morning. Just serving the Lord. Hallelujah. Giving him glory. Giving him praises. Hallelujah. Let's just thank the Lord right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for waking us up this morning, giving us a sound mind and able body, oh, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh, Lord God, for knowing exactly where we're supposed to go and what we're supposed to do. Covering us, hallelujah, all of our ways coming in and going out, oh, Father God. You keep us and you protect us, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For straightening us, for placing us on that straight and narrow path, praise God. Bringing us from that crooked path, those crooked ways, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your blood, Jesus. We thank you for your blood, Jesus, that cleanses us. Hallelujah. We thank you that we are able to repent every single day for any and everything that is not pleasing to you, oh Lord. We're so grateful to be in your presence today, so we thank you. We're so grateful for our, our, our family, Lord God. They're living, uh, they're breathing, hallelujah. You know, they're eating and they're moving about, praise God, hallelujah. We pray for them today, Father God, hallelujah, that you would keep your hands on them, that you would draw them to you, oh Lord, hallelujah. We thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your glory, Lord. We thank you for your presence always hovering over us, oh Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for dwelling in us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking, praise God. Hallelujah. And hearing the instructions, praise God. And hearing you witness, be a witness of Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord, hallelujah, today. This is day four, and we're so grateful to be here together to praise your name, to honor you, Jesus, to glorify you, Jesus, hallelujah, to give you all honor, glory, and praises every single day of our life, Lord God, hallelujah, and setting you as the head, the only choice that we'll ever make in our entire lives, oh Lord God, which is the right, perfect, righteous choice, hallelujah. We're so grateful to be in your presence, oh Lord, today, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. May every single heart that hears, every single ear that hears, every single person that receives in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, may they be blessed in the ways in which you are pouring out today, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. Let's go ahead and just continue to praise him. We praise you, oh Lord God, hallelujah. You are magnificent. You are holy. You are righteous, hallelujah. You are the right choice. You are the shepherd. You are the chief cornerstone, praise God. You are magnificent. You are beautiful. You are, hallelujah. We adore you. We adore you, hallelujah. We lift you on high in our lives, oh Lord God. There's nothing above you. There's nothing below you. You are the only choice, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We're so grateful. Oh Lord God, that you are here with us, just dwelling with us, hallelujah, calling upon our names, knocking at our doors, oh Lord God. And we are we are so grateful to allow you in to our homes, Father God, today in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. Hallelujah. We give you all praises, Lord. No one can do it like you, oh Jesus. No one can do it like you. Holy, holy, holy. No one could ever do it like you. You're the perfect sacrifice. The perfect one, the one without sin, praise God, hallelujah. No one can do what you did, Jesus. No one, hallelujah, can escape death, praise God, hallelujah, and take the keys from hell, hallelujah. No one can do what you did, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. We're so grateful to be in your presence, the one and only, hallelujah, the magnificent, the beautiful, praise God, hallelujah, the one who made a way out of no way, the one who went ahead of us, praise God, and gave us the trajectory, gave us the direction. Hallelujah. Showed us in demonstration and teachings of what to do on this earth as, as disciples. Praise God. We're so grateful, oh Lord God, that you did it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we praise you and honor you in Jesus' mighty name. We praise you and honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Holy, 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 holy. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We're so grateful for you today and always, forevermore. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We just wanted to thank the Lord and just bless.
bless Jesus, praise God, give him some praise, hallelujah, every chance we get, let's just give him some praise, praise God, there's nothing wrong with praising Jesus, hallelujah, there's nothing wrong with it, praise God, hallelujah, no matter how tired, tired you are, praise God, I mean, my words are written together, hallelujah, but it doesn't matter, no matter how tired you are, are. We have a God who never sleeps or slumbers, praise God. Hallelujah. When you're waking up, you're praising him. When you are, you're going to sleep, you're praising him. You understand what I'm saying? You wake up, he's on your mind. You go to sleep, he's on your mind, praise God. Throughout the day, he's on your mind. Hallelujah. He stays on your mind, praise God. When you're in a relationship, an intimate relationship with him, you want to know what's going on, praise God. You want to know what he's saying. Hallelujah. You want to know what he's doing, praise God. Hallelujah. You're just always in tune and in touch with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful to be in this era of life right here where he has chosen us for this particular time, for this particular season. Hallelujah. In this particular place to do his business. We are so grateful unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to read for day four of 21, verse seven. Hallelujah. And today's message is titled, Grumbling will occur when they see you. Let me say that again. Grumblings will occur when they see you. All right. So we know that Zacchaeus wanted to get a glimpse, wanted to see Jesus, right? So what did he do? He switched positions. He ran ahead. Hallelujah. And then he went to that place of encounter. He climbed that sycamore tree so he could get a good view. Praise God. But when Jesus came, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if Zacchaeus was surprised or not, but when Jesus came to that particular spot, that spot of encounter, Jesus looked up and called him by name. And when he called him by name, he told him to come. Get down from there immediately, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave him instructions. Hey, you come here, praise God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And what happened after that in Jesus' mighty name? Well, he said, hallelujah, come down for today. I must stay at your house. This is verse 5. Praise God. And in verse 6, it says, and he heard and came down and received him gladly. See, Zacchaeus received Jesus gladly, praise God. But let's look at 7. This is what we're focusing on today. And when they saw it, when who saw it? Everyone who was standing around. They all began to grumble, saying, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to tell you today on day 4, praise God. There will be some who will come into your life, whether it's today, tomorrow, praise God, weeks from now. They will come into your life, hallelujah, and they will see for themselves that God has called you, hallelujah, by name. They will see, praise God, hallelujah, that he's resting at your house. They will see, praise God, hallelujah, that the Lord has called you for a particular instruction. He has given you, hallelujah, a particular mission. You are in position, praise God, hallelujah. You have been chosen by God. See, Zacchaeus was chosen, hallelujah. He was selected by Jesus Christ, praise God. Jesus called him by name, hallelujah, in front of everybody. And he said, come down immediately, praise God. Why, hallelujah? Because he said, I must stay at your house, praise God, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. See, Jesus already knew where he wanted to stay. He already knew where he wanted to go. Hallelujah. He already knew the business that he was going to conduct at Zacchaeus' house. Praise God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. And the Lord is letting you know today. He already knew. Hallelujah. That he was going to call you at this time. He already knew that he was going to elevate you and position you in that place. He already knew that he was going to give you that particular position. He already knew. Hallelujah. That he would do it in front of everybody. He already knew knew, hallelujah, that they will be the bearing witness of it, praise God. But he also knew that there will be some grumblings. Hallelujah. He also knew, praise God, hallelujah, there will be some complaining. Praise God. There will be some murmuring. Hallelujah. People talking behind your back. They don't really want you to do well. They don't really want you to do good. Hallelujah. They might put on that front in front of you, praise God. But believe me, behind your back, they don't really want that for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How do you know that, praise God? The hallelujah. Many of us just know when we know, praise God. You don't have to tell us, hallelujah. We can just see it in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes it's in the treatment, praise God. Sometimes it's in the actions. Hallelujah. But what I've learned about God, See, when Jesus says, praise God, that he is love, it is a being. He is love, praise God. Do you understand? He's not showing love. He's not acting like love. Hallelujah. He's not pretending to be love for a short duration and then all of a sudden he's not love. Do you understand how people do praise God? Hallelujah. But he is. It is a being. It's who he is. It is, and it is the very essence. 
substance of him. Hallelujah. So when he says he's love, praise God, that's who he, he is. That's his identity. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's his identity, praise God. So when we are in connections and relationships, friendships, uh, kinships, uh, you know, uh, uh, whatever that ship is, praise God. And we're saying, hallelujah, we just want the person to be kind. We just want the person to be loving. We just want the person to listen, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, guess what? On the other end, we have to be that, praise God. We have to be love, the very essence of love, not acting like love, not showing love, praise God. We have to be it because when you are something, it comes naturally. When you are something, you don't have to worry about being consistent because you are consistent, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm just letting you know the core of it, praise God. You have to become it, praise God. Hallelujah. And that is also in your future, praise God. If you are looking to do something or looking to uh, elevate or if you're looking to stretch yourself in the area, praise God. Guess what? Hallelujah. You have to study to show yourself for why are you said you're you're studying to be it praise god you're not studying to just learn it you are studying to be it praise god hallelujah i hope you catch this word this morning in the mighty name of jesus see the lord when he demonstrated when jesus demonstrated for the disciples praise god yes he was teaching and he was demonstrating but what he was demonstrating was who he was praise god it was his very identity it was his power praise god it was his signs and his miracles and his wonders praise god hallelujah that's who he is hallelujah and he was showcasing himself to his disciples praise god and he was healing people across the land hallelujah this is what the lord was doing praise god and so when he called us as disciples this is why we have to become one with the spirit of god we have to become one with jesus christ why because we are the very essence of him so what he did we can do praise god why because now we are the identity of jesus and now we are identifying as a demonstration now we are identifying as a miracle. Now we're identifying as love, praise God. Now we're identifying, hallelujah, as signs and wonders, praise God, hallelujah. The Lord is letting you know today, it's time out for pretending like we want to do something or like we are something, hallelujah. It's time, I praise God, hallelujah, to be showcasing something. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to, you know, demonstrate this, hallelujah, but without being it. Because we know that you can show something and that's, that's not consistent. That's a one-time thing. That may be a two-time thing, praise God, a five times out of the year thing, praise God. But it doesn't mean that that's you. It's just what you did. Hallelujah. It was a good act, praise God. It was a good service, praise God. Hallelujah. But it doesn't mean that's your identity. Understand what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that that's your identity, praise God. Hallelujah. But Jesus, even when he encountered the chaos in this particular place, praise God, Jesus continued to be, he was being, hallelujah, who he was sent here, praise God, hallelujah, to be. He was being it. It was his very essence, praise God, hallelujah, and he was converting, he was bringing those who were lost into the body of Christ. He was being it. So this is why he was always about his father's business because he was the business. Hallelujah. And so he carried out what he was. The assignment, he was the assignment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So the Lord has given us an assignment. Hallelujah. But we have to become the assignment. We have to accomplish the assignment in which we are. So that when time is up, we are up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Meaning up. Hallelujah into heaven, right back to the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Draw back to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we have to be what God is calling us to be. We have to become it. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, it becomes your identity. People will start identifying you as, praise God, what you have become. Do you understand? Whatever your assignment is, you start to identify as that assignment, praise God. You start to become that. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking today to many of you. Hallelujah. He's speaking to me, praise God, to become, hallelujah, the assignment, to become, praise God, what he has called you for in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord said, don't, hallelujah, do not get distracted by those who are complaining about you. Do not, hallelujah, spend your time worrying about those who are grumbling about you, praise God, hallelujah, because they are going to grumble. Why? In the Bible, hallelujah, for Zacchaeus, it said when they saw it. See, people are going.
going to see your elevation. People are going to see your rise. People are going to see it because God does that. Hallelujah. He will showcase the people him so that he can be glorified. Do you understand? But sometimes people get it twisted. Hallelujah. They start looking at the person that God is elevating and then they start to grumble and complain about the person. Oh, they are not perfect, praise God. Hallelujah. They did X, Y, and Z. Hallelujah. The, you, you think he got the right person in the mighty name of Jesus? I'm telling you right now. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus chose the right person. He chose you. You're the right person. Hallelujah. He meant what he chose in the mighty name of Jesus because you're perfect for the assignment that he has given you in Jesus' mighty name. So walk it out. Verse 7, when they saw it, they all began to grumble, saying, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner, praise God. Understand, we have all sinned, praise God, hallelujah. None of us clean until we met Jesus Christ. He became our Lord and Savior. We repented of our sins and we went on, hallelujah. We called on the name of Jesus and guess what? We became a part of the body of Christ, praise God, hallelujah. And we believe in him, praise God. And guess what? Here in seven, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. Of course, Jesus would go to be the guest of a man who is a sinner because he goes to take care of those who are lost. He goes to get the lost and bring them back. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. What did he go get the one? <laughs> right? <laughs> Out of the 99, what did he go get the one? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But sometimes people are around and they're looking and they're seeing and they're watching all of the great things that are happening for you. And then it's a reflection for them to self-reflect. And then they start to feel some sort of way about their lack of, their uh, uh, not doing, praise God, their lack of progress, right? And then they want to pour that out on you. Well, you don't have a lack of progress. You're doing what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Praise God. You're obedient. Praise God. You're rising. You're accomplishing. You're, I mean, every single thing that the Lord has given you, you're knocking it out. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's not your issue. Praise God. But some people want their issues to be your issue. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, do not accept the issues of the other person. Praise God. Of another person. Let me tell you why. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has to do a work in them. It's, they have to examine themselves. They have to go about the process and let the Lord do the work in them, praise God, so that they can be greater, so they can be better. Hallelujah. Draw them closer to the Lord so that they can start resembling Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In his purity. Do you understand? They have to do the work. They can't just pour it out on you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have enough work to do yourself. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is our word today that the Lord wants you to know that there will be those who are watching your rise, your elevation. When you are in that place of encounter, the Lord is going to call you by name. He's going to call you by name and he's going to address you with specific instructions. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's coming to your house. Hallelujah. And you're going to receive what thus saith the Lord, what he has for you. And people are all going to be around. They're going to witness it. Praise God. And you will have grumbling. People will murmur, people will complain, hallelujah, they'll even growl, you know, like an animal. Praise God, hallelujah. But don't you allow that to distract you or to get you off track. You keep going, praise God, hallelujah. Just as Zacchaeus, hallelujah, hosted Jesus Christ in his home, you continue to walk on the path in which God has called you on because it is greater. And the, the higher you go, the more you're going to see the grumbling and the less you're going to feel about it, praise God, hallelujah. You're going to see them all around like little uh, 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 salivating puppies, praise God, hallelujah. And you're going to keep moving in the things of God because God called you. You have a responsibility and accountability. God called you, hallelujah. So you walk it out in the mighty name of Jesus, being obedient to God, being obedient to Jesus Christ. You do that, praise God, and allow the Lord, hallelujah, to do what he do, to draw them, praise God, to do a work in them, for them to examine themselves, praise God, hallelujah. And maybe then they'll be called too, praise God. But you keep focusing on what God has for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord God, we thank you for day four morning prayer, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We pray right now that every single person who hears your voice, oh Lord God, hears this message, that they receive it in the mighty name of Jesus, that they go throughout their day eating clean, oh Father God, continue to pray every hour, oh Lord God, continue to consecrate to you, oh Lord God, submitting, yielding to you, Lord God, hallelujah. May the instructions that they receive, oh Lord God, be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Help them along, oh Lord God, if there's anything that they're unclear about, Lord God, bring clarity 
speak to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Show them the way clearly, oh, Father God. Let them know who their destiny helpers are, oh, Lord God, on this path in Jesus' mighty name. Be with them always, oh, Father God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even for those who think you're not always there, oh, Lord God. Show yourself to them, oh, Lord God. Let them know that you are there in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Comfort them. Wrap your arms around them. Pour your love onto them, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Clear the path of any briars, oh, Lord God. Any stumbling blocks, Father God. Hallelujah. Any rocks, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Any thorns in the mighty name of Jesus. Clear that path right now. Be the broom of destruction, oh, Father God. And clear their path of all wicked things, oh, Lord God. That may be standing in their way in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Lord God. And any counterfeits on that path, Lord God, we're asking them to leave right now in Jesus' mighty name, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We just thank you, oh Lord God, for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you, Lord God, for touching us and keeping your hand on our shoulders, oh Father God, leading us and guiding us along the way, Lord God, being the lamp to our feet, the light to our path, oh Lord God. We love the light. We want to stay in the light. Hallelujah. The light is bright. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we know that truth is in the light. Hallelujah. We know that life is in the light. Praise God. We know, hallelujah, that righteousness, hallelujah, holiness, hallelujah, the glory of God is in the light. Praise God. And we're so grateful for you, o Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We pray for peace for every single person. Hallelujah. Who's in the uproar today, this morning, oh Lord God. Anyone in the uproar today, we just pray for peace for them. Peace beyond understanding that it will settle on down, oh Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. It's too early, hallelujah, to be in the uproar, Lord God, hallelujah. So we're praying right now that they just settle on down, oh Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. We bless you, we honor you, we love you, Lord. Have your way with us today, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. May you be blessed on your path today. May you do what the Lord is calling you to do today in Jesus mighty name. Remember, we are fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You are eating clean. Praise God. Do away with the bottom feeders in the mighty name of Jesus. Very little meat if you are eating meat during this time. Hallelujah. And drink water in Jesus mighty name. And remember to continue to uh, conduct yourself in eating clean even after this time frame because your body is healing. Hallelujah. Itself. But the Lord also said, praise God, that he's doing healing in this time. So let's receive what the Lord is doing for all of us in this time. In this time. All right, y'all. I'll see you at 6 p.m. All right. Stay Turn up for God. Turn up for Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God.